Students, welcome back to ELA. Uh, today we're going to be doing our lesson, Follow the North Star. So we've been reading about Harriet Tubman. We know that Harriet was a slave, but Harriet wanted to be free. In chapter two, we learned that Harriet wanted to run away to the North. She could be free in the North. So we know that slaves would run away to the North because there was no slavery in the North. So if they could escape from the South and get to the North, then they could be free rather than have to be slaves. So many runaway slaves traveled at night. They followed the North Star. Remember the North Star doesn't move. It stays in the same spot in the sky. So that's why they would follow the North Star because it wouldn't move so they could um, use that to, to figure out where they were and where they needed to go. So you guys had read an article about the North Star in the night sky, and you also watched an instructional video too. When we look up at the sky on a dark, clear night, we see lots of stars. If we watch those stars for a long time, they will seem to move very slowly across the sky. But we know that the North Star stays in one place. So why does this happen? Let's watch this video to learn that answer, all right? And then you will answer some Google form questions about what we just learned. Underground Railroad is a story about slaves escaping to freedom. These slaves were told to go north and follow the North Star. The slaves followed the North Star because it always stayed in one place, above Earth's North Pole, while other stars seemed to move. Was Earth moving, or were the stars moving? Hundreds of years ago, most people thought Earth didn't move. They thought that the sun, moon, and stars moved or revolved around Earth. After all, it doesn't feel like Earth is moving. Standing here, I feel a light breeze, but it doesn't feel like I'm zipping through space at thousands of miles per hour. When I ride my bike, I sense the movement. I feel the wind on my face. I see the trees disappearing behind me. But when I'm standing still, I don't sense any movement. Movement can be hard to feel, especially when things around you are moving at the same speed. When you take off in a jet, it feels like you are moving very fast. The runway zips by quickly. Yet, once you are flying high above the clouds, flying at hundreds of miles per hour, it doesn't feel like you're moving at all. That's because everything around you, the plane, the passengers, the drinks are all moving at the same speed as you are. Only by looking out a window can you sense any movement as the jet slowly passes over clouds and things on the ground below. Over the past few hundred years, scientists have learned that the sun doesn't revolve around Earth. Instead, Earth spins in a circle, it rotates. If we could draw a line through the Earth from its North Pole to its South Pole, we would call that line an axis. An axis is like the axle that a bicycle wheel spins around. It takes one day for Earth to make one turn around its axis. And every day the North Star will be located directly above the North Pole. For hundreds of years, travelers in our part of the world have used the North Star as a guide, just like the slaves did in the Underground Railroad. <laughs> 